you're watching Carl B. Gideon and Gabino Diaz Long Curve Service Daily Vlog. Let's go. Enjoy. All right. Good morning. It is Tuesday, January 10th. 2017 it is 8 o'clock on the way to do the first yard as you can notice my coal pallet's missing at the moment I had some chili last night and it didn't settle with the stomach I guess that's the thing with older people I'm not sure because uh, I love chili but my mother-in-law said that uh, it can tear you up sometimes give you the runs I don't know but it's awful good going in so I'll swim by and pick Ken up here a little bit later on. Instead of late last night, watch the Clemson Alabama game. Congratulations, Clemson, for winning. I'm glad Road Tide didn't win. And you know what? On my Facebook feed, I ain't heard one word from those Alabama fans. So, Road Tide, you went down. Congratulations to Clemson. On that note, we're going to go cut some yards today. I think there's mm, probably 15, 14, 15 on today's schedule. Just like yesterday, Monday, Tuesday, they usually stack. Sun shines out. It's 48 degrees. Yesterday morning, this time it was 40. So we're 8 degrees warmer. So that's a good thing. Yesterday was a pretty good day. We actually got done about an hour earlier than normal. You might be thinking, well, that's because you didn't cut two yards. Well, no, I mean, because there's been weeks we ain't cut two, three, or four yards on, on that Monday because they didn't need it because the grass ain't growing. But... Everything went smoothly yesterday, so we're going to go out here today. We're going to knock it out. I'll be solo probably one, two, I'll probably, call, probably do three yards and I'll call him, see how he's feeling. He's feeling better. So I'm about to pick him up if he needs more time. I'll go do another yard. No big deal, you know. If you're sick, you're sick. And I know how it is when you're out here trying to work and you got to go to the bathroom. You're trying to find a place to... Uh, Take a squat and you had that toilet paper and all that stuff with you. So, no big deal, you know. Things happen. I said, what else is going to happen on this? Oh, get the car washes back. So, either going to do one tonight, one tomorrow night, or do one tomorrow night and one um, Thursday night. I might even do both of them tomorrow. It just depends how, how it goes. You know, today's only Tuesday, so we can do it Tuesday night, Wednesday night, or we can do it Wednesday night, Thursday night. Maybe they both up on Wednesday night. They close at 7. They're open from 8 to 7 right now. Uh, can't do it. I was doing them in the morning last time before Grunt's lawn services took them over. But he's falling off the face of the earth. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I can't get a hold of him. I'm crack calling his phone. It's Brad says that there's car restrictions on the phone. So I don't know what that's about. So apparently he went out of business. I know he lost a few customers, quite a few customers there for a while. I think he's at the 53, and he told me he's down to like 17, 20. So he must have lost a couple more. And I didn't let him know about that in the wintertime, you know. So your customers will screw you. They'll swear to God they'll keep you, but then come December or something, or whenever it snows or gets cold, and it doesn't snow in Florida. You know, when it gets cold or cold, it's Christmas time. Well, I don't need you. So, Steve, if you're what Steven, if you're watching the uh, vlogs, give me a call, man. You got my number. Let me know what's up. I know your wife was supposed to have a baby. I hope everything went okay with that. Just let me know what's going on. I got the car washed back. I got Susan back. Man, that bus is smoking. Holy cow! Ooh, that bus is smoking. Oh, what kind of bus that was? It wasn't a school bus, but. Man, I think it was smoking. That burned a little bad. Holy crap. Man, it smells like oil in here now. Speaking of oil, I need to run to the lawnmower shop later. Get a quarter of a uh, 20W50 for the fares. I got about that much left in the bottom of the jug, and it's going to need a little oil today, so that may top it off or may not, so I'll have to run up there and grab some. So let's go cut some yards. I'll try to do a little bit of filming, probably do a little bit later on. I just want to knock these couple out real quick. And then uh, I'll get Ken, I'll try to do some filming. I 
I, mean, I could film by myself, but I just want to get out here and bust these out real quick. That way when he gets out here, we can just kind of keep on moving and have a good day. Sometimes we don't get Tuesdays done, we'll carry, we just carry three over. We don't get all Tuesdays done because of whatever reason, we'll carry like three over to Wednesday, so. Because Wednesdays are only about 10, I think. Something like that. Like I said, I've lost a lot of customers too, but hanging in there. Hanging in there and next month is February. They'll start calling for leaf cleanups. March, I'll start getting new customers wanting the yard service, so we're hanging in there. This winter was a tough winter. Because the last two winters I didn't lose that many customers, but they got me this year. But I'm able to keep enough customers. Just enough customers where I can't do it all by myself unless I work Saturday. Cut grass and that gives me Sunday to service machines. So just got enough customers to keep keep, keep Ken board, so we're keeping our heads above water. Barely. Alright, then we're gonna cut this yard, we'll get ready to pull up to it, and I'll see you shortly. Alright, it is 1021. That is three yards done. I just got the phone Ken. Still not feeling too well. I don't know. I don't think that chili settled to the stomach last night. It could have been the McDonald's we had yesterday too. The no, last time he had chili, he had to run in the morning, but it actually had black beans in it. The chili last night had chili beans in it, and uh, all of his chili was the lunch we had yesterday. So still not feeling well. So I'm gonna go out and grab a couple more, give them a call, probably about 12. It'll probably be lunchtime. So Ken may not join us today. If not, no big deal, man. Because, I mean, I've been out here when I've had to run to the bathroom multiple times and it just kills your day, man. You can't get nothing done. I mean, if he's not here, I can keep on moving. I'm definitely not gonna get them all done today, but no big deal. Even if he does come out, we're still not gonna get them all done. Carry them all for tomorrow. Rather him be 100% tomorrow than come out here and then cut one yard when we have to run back for something to go change clothes for an accident so, or keep stopping at the restrooms. So we're doing good. I've cut two out of the three. I just went and checked one. He pays by the cut. I didn't cut him all last month. I mean, he only really cut it all. I mean, even the weeds that grow in his yard ain't really tall. So I'll check him again in two weeks if he needs cut. There's no sense of wasting my time, wasting his money, and wasting fuel if I don't need cut. I mean, I did have to go check it out, but there's no sense of starting the mowers and running all the equipment. And basically, all you're going to do is create a dust ball. So, I'm going to keep his $30 for that cut, like I did last month. And as soon as I get there to cut it, we'll cut it. I'm not in business to steal somebody's money, you know. He, he says, when my yard needs cut, cut it. Summertime, it goes every other week. Well, yeah, I think it's twice a month in the summer. Anyway, I always check on. We get a lot of rain and it's growing crazy. I always go check it, make sure he gets cut. But he didn't get cut at all last month. His yard's just gone. Can't help it, man. Mother Nature turned off in September. So we're gonna run over to the beach, get that one with that rocky front yard. Yeah, something bit my back of my neck. Over there. Got a welt back there. Probably a spider out of a tree. I'm going over to the beach, grab the beach. And probably grab one more, then give Ken a call. Or I may call him up to the beach. See how he feels. If he's still not doing good, we'll go do a couple more. Just do what we can today. Clean look tomorrow and get tomorrow's done. Sunshine today, if you can't tell by the camera. Started out at 48 degrees. It's going to a about 72 today the rest of the week is going to be between 75 and 80 yes that's above normal it should only be about 70 to 20 70 72 this time of year all right let's continue our journey today i'll take you along with me i may try to get some action later but right now i'm just trying to get as many many of these knocked out i can being a solo won't be the first time I worked by myself. Won't be the last time, probably. So we will be back shortly. All right, 
Alrighty, it is 1124. Four done. Ken's feeling better, so I'm gonna swing past the house, pick him up. I'm about ready for lunch, so he might have to eat lunch then go cut grass. We'll see what's going on once they get to him. So four done, not bad. I mean I got to the first one probably eight ten maybe. I didn't really look. I mean, it was about ten minutes from my house and I was left. I was in the truck at eight o'clock. So I'll probably got there at eight ten. So it's eleven twenty four, four done by yourself. I don't think that's good at all. I can usually get about eight a day by myself. Sometimes ten, it just depends on how tight the route is that day. So we're gonna go pick up Ken. Might go cut a couple yards or might go lunch. I'm getting kind of hungry. But we'll see what goes on. And then we'll uh, pick up what we got to do uh, tomorrow. Because there'll be some carryovers for sure. Got the uh, car washes back. Probably. I'm either going to do one tonight and one tomorrow night. Or I might do one tomorrow night and one Thursday night. I haven't quite decided how we're going to work that yet. You know, all depends on how Kim feels later on today. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna cut to five. We're gonna go home, eat dinner, and have to go back out on either day we do it. I may try to squeeze them both in on the same evening. I'm not 100% sure. This time of year is great. It's gonna be that June, July, August, September. It's gonna be the iffy part with the daily rains. But again, like I said, we'll play it by ear. I used to do them early in the mornings. Man, getting up at six o'clock and being there by 6 30 and had to be gone by 8 man sometimes I was pushing it plus you gotta fight with the sprinklers on if the sprinkler system comes on they wouldn't come on until about 3 o'clock in the morning so I'm just gonna play bear man having a little fun like I said we're just trying to tread water right now we're okay hopefully nobody else sells their house or moves out from a renter and we lose anymore like I said, we get through January and February. Once we hit March, even late February, I'll start getting phone calls for leaf cleanups. And then I'll say, oh, by the way, I need a lawn guy. And that usually works out good. So, got to get through January and February, and we should be okay on losing people. We should start gaining people in. And then, of course, we'll play the repeat again next year. I'm going to make a service agreement up saying you're getting cut for $80 a month, $90 a month. But if you do, if you cancel us, you will avoid this service agreement. You'll pay thirty-five dollars per cut. I guarantee it. I'll keep some of them from dropping us. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, let's keep on going with the day. We're doing good so far. All righty, it is two o nine. Hey, look who come, look who joined me today. Hey, he finally got got done sitting on the toilet. Yeah, live and kicking. We're going to try it. I picked him up. We did a yard. Of course, it was time for me to eat lunch, so we went ahead and ate lunch, and we had to swing past, use the restroom again real quick, so we're going to try it, see if we can get a couple of these in, and we should be able to get at least this one, the next one, the nicest yard we got today, and then maybe two more to that, and then we have to come back out a little bit later on and do the car wash. So if I remember, I'll take you with us at definitely the car wash. So let's go cut some grass. Working at the oh, he's saying I'm having trouble. We'll be back. <laughs>
right, guys, it is 451. So we are done for today. Well, I take that back. Not We're not here. totally done. We got three to carry over tomorrow. Technically, the four, but one is only going once a week or once a month. So we'll cut him the second time around. So we got three to do tomorrow. Not bad. Plus Wednesday, so we'll work him in. We're totally not done for today because we have to go back out and get the car washes. Oh, that's right. Now, I'm not going to show you the car washes because I think y'all seen them already in the earlier vlogs before uh, Grunt Salon Services took them over. And now he's disappeared. Hopefully he'll, he used to watch the vlog, so hopefully he'll watch him and call me and tell me what's going on, or at least text me, or email me. If he needs my email, he can do me a private message, and I'll give it to him. So we're going to go home, cook dinner, I'm doing chicken and potatoes on the grill, and then we're going to, see she always knows when I'm recording. Yeah, when you're on. Then we're going to uh, go back and get the car wash. Probably won't do both of them. We'll see how we feel. If not, we'll get that one tomorrow. No Ken's rant because he don't have any yet. And we will see you tomorrow morning in the truck around 8 o'clock. Thanks for watching. And thank you for hitting that like button. Hello.